following for several hours now. Police searching for the person who shot three men overnight in North Charlotte. One of those people who was shot was killed. This was the scene on Beatty's Ford Road just off I-85. Our crews watching as police collected evidence and there were some tense moments as grieving families showed up to that crime scene. It's why our Mary Calkins has moved a few blocks away to CMPD's Metro Division Team Office. Mary, those families understandably hurt, angry and confused. That is exactly right, Mary. And they, of course, won answers about what unfolded inside that Express Mart convenience store around midnight. I do want to get to some video our crew took at the scene overnight. We know investigators tell us this started inside the Express Mart. A group of men got into an argument and someone pulled a gun and opened fire. Three men were shot. One of them died at the scene. And we know two others taken to the hospital. We're told one of them is expected to survive and the other is in critical condition. Now, officers spent several hours combing the store, both inside and out, for evidence. They spoke with the employees and witnesses who were there. Now, investigators are looking at the store's security camera footage, working to identify any suspect. We are asking that once that is complete, if they can provide us with a description of the suspect. Now, while at the, while at the scene, we spoke to Jacqueline Lewis. She's a community activist, and she told us both her son and later her grandson died of gun violence. She knows firsthand what these families are going through. We have got to put the guns down, talk to our children, and bring everybody together as a community. That's just the bottom line. That's what we need to do. We want to be able to walk the streets. We want to be able to go out and shop. We want to be able to go out and do these things without worrying about whether or not we're going to get gunned down, especially in our own community. Now, CMPD's uh, Major Ryan Butler, he echoed Lewis's comments there. Now, I can tell you there has been a concerted effort through uh, law enforcement, the violence, um, the, the violence interruption team, and community members to cut down on crime in that neighborhood. Of course, um, an effort that saw a setback overnight. So we will continue following this story. But for now, live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side. All right, Mary, we know you will keep us updated on that scene. Thank you. Hey, it's Mr. Park, guys, be sure to forecast back like a door does. And today we're gonna talk about a local artist from North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact, North Charlotte, Slimy Bezo. Um, young man lost his life last week. You know, on my birthday to be exact, that's the crazy part. He died the 28th last month. But he uh, was shot like a week before that. But he he passed due to his injuries. He's a young artist popping out the city, man. He was doing his thing. Damn, you know what they say, man. You know how the new artists do, man. They can't just rap. They got to be rapping and beefing. All right. You know, he was, you know, he, 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 he stood on what he say, man, you know. It was you running shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was, you know what I'm saying? You were popping that shit, running that shit more than like. But when the way it looked, though, it just seemed like the way the police report was lying, it was like, dude said he ain't even, the dude that killed them was like, he ain't even know them. It was like, I guess, I guess they knew he was from another part of town or some shit. The part of the time they were beefing with, and they started popping that shit to him, but he came back and lit, lit them boys the fuck up, man. Two people, you know what I'm saying? Three arms in that shot. One the man died on the scene. Slimy Bezo was one of the ones who was hit critically. And he died a week later. And the other partner they had, he was hit too. He survived. And I'm just going in like this, man. We gotta chill out with all that. We wanna rap and all that good shit, man. We gotta chill out with all that beef and shit. You're not gonna get nowhere. You're gonna go to jail, you're gonna get booked, bro. You know what I'm saying? You already got that shit on a lot with that music shit, man. Just keep pushing that music. Stay, try to stay out of the way. If I know I'm popping, I don't need me to sit here and try to get like, act like I'm about to do all this now. I'm gonna send it to the store for me. So you should, dude. You know you done got the suffering system and hair and the beef, man. I'm gonna send it to the store for you, man. People in the city, more motherfuckers in the city don't know you than you know them by that time. You know what I'm saying? No, this shit don't be worth it, man. All this beefing and all this other goofy shit. Shit corny. The rap game rigged anyway. 
the rap game rigged anyway, man. This one of the ones that weren't really an industry sacrifice. It was just some street sacrifice shit. Breaking news last Wednesday, a second victim in that case has died. Mary Calkins live in Uptown Charlotte with more on what we have learned about the investigation. Mary. Yes, Alex, because the second person in this case has died, we are expecting the charges against the suspect to be upgraded. Now, on Friday, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department's violent criminal apprehension team arrested 18-year-old Jalen Johnson in Kannapolis. He was transferred here to the Mecklenburg County Jail, where he will face a judge for his first appearance this morning. Now, police told us Johnson got into an argument with someone inside the Express Mart on Beatty's Ford Road just before midnight last Tuesday. Investigators say Johnson pulled out a pistol and began firing. He hit three people. Jadarius McCullough died at the scene. Quavion Robinson died three days later. And a third man who was shot is expected to survive. Now, police told us at the time Johnson did not know any of the, of the three men he is accused of shooting. We know Johnson will be in court this morning at 10 a.m. We're going to be there and we're going to bring you a report today uh, live at noon. But for now, reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side. Shit, rig, man. Y'all right with the time, money, man. Go to school, get a trade and shit, man. Shit, become a YouTube blogger. Fuck it. But, you know what I'm saying? I want to beef in the streets and all that, man. That ain't cool, bro. That ain't that cool, bro. Just keeping that shit gangster. But yeah. It's like R.P. Slimy Bezo, man. He was a young man when I'm 19 years old, man. He had Charlotte on lock. You know what I'm saying? He was like the biggest one since the baby. That just, you know, it doesn't matter what ping it. I never really heard a dude, the other Charlotte rapper I heard of, was Fetty P. Franklin. I rock with bruh. You an older cat, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with Fetty P, man. Nigga decent, man. I like Slime, I heard Slime Bezo music too, man. That nigga shit was all right too. That shit catch up with you, man, right? They beefing it, toting guns and pipes and shit, man. Anyway, I'll get in the comments and let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out.